Hello everyone, welcome to the explanation. So in today's topic, today's video, I'll be covering security management model. Okay, so what is a security management model? So a security management model is a generic description of what an organization should do to provide a secure environment for itself okay it means that every organization they should follow a particular security management model with the help of which they can provide a secure environment for their organization okay so generally this can be divided into three part access control model and next is NIST control model and next is technical model we can say so I am going to explain each of the model one by you one by one okay so a question can be asked about write about the security management model so you have to write all three models if they ask for a particular model you can explain that so in this video I only cover this model and next two videos I'll try to cover these two models okay so let's start with access control model okay so the topic is access control model okay so access control model this type of model they are they are crucial for ensuring only that they are crucial for ensuring that only authorized authorized person can have access to government resources okay so in in order to access any kind of resources resources means any kind of information that person should have access okay only authorized person should have access authorized person means for example if there is a government organization and if anyone wants to uh, refer to the employee information so that person should be employee or should be greater than the employee level that they can be manager or they can be you know the level goes up okay so that is called access control model so again access control model has been divided into four types so first part, part is role based access control which is also called rbac okay so what happens in this model in this model the permission permission given to user for what to access the information permission is given to user to access the information based on based on what based on their roles within organization okay so what happens so in e-governance system uh, a person can either be a user okay user or a citizen we can say and another person can be either employee of that government organization or other person can be administrator okay so this type of in role based access the permission is given on the basis of role okay so if you are a user you can only go to that website and read the information if you are employee you can also go in depth of website and you can see other information related to employee if you are an administrator or an admin of that organization that government organization you can change the content okay so this is the role based control okay let's go to next second type of access based control second type is attribute based access control it is also called ABAC okay so in attribute based control what happens is uh the access is given okay the access is given to the user based on 
various attributes for example the attributes uh, you know the attributes can be time of access or we can say location or we can say department so these are the attributes and based on these attributes the access is given to a person for example you can say suppose an employee is having an evening shift so he will be granted the permission to access the information only after five o'clock suppose you are working in a finance department so you have the access to in, you have the right to access the information only from finance department so this is called attribute based access control okay next third is mandatory access control so it is also called mac okay so in this the in this mandatory access control we assign labels to the user okay we can say uh, sorry we assign labels to the sensitive data we can say okay so mac is a very strict access control model where the decision are based on security labels which can be assigned to both data as well as user so data they are assigned labels such as confidential data or we can say the data can be secret the data can be top secret so these are the categories of the data so in mac control who is going to access the secret data or who is going to access the confidential data who is going to access the top secret data okay so in government organization the person who is at the highest level he or she can access the top secret data but a manager level ma uh, person he or she can access only secret data he cannot access the top secret data okay so this type of uh, control is not mac or mandatory access control okay so next let's go to next model next type of access control model so i think it is fourth type okay so this is discretionary access control or we can say it is a dac okay so in discretionary access control the resource owner we can say and what is resource here here the resource can be data okay so the resource owner have discretionary discretionary or the owners can have the right we can say the word is very hard right to control access to their resources it means that if i am owner of this particular data i have all the right to access the permission or we can say grant the permission or to revoke the permission revoke means to take back the permission what permission if any other person can access my data or not so i have all the right in, in order to deny the permission or to access the permission or to uh, give the permission to a particular person to access the resources okay so the last one is rule based access control okay so rule based access control here the access control model it uses various rules or policies which is made by the organization okay so these rules and policy they are different for every organization and they are made by the organization so that in order to give a permission to a person permission to a person to access the data okay so this is basically rule and these rules are particularly made by the organization so under this rule a person can access the data or a person cannot access the data so the you know the rule can be like various attributes or various factors of user fine so these are the five models of access control model so in next video i'll be covering nist control model and if you want the notes of all these videos please you can visit my website ez explanation dot com okay so till then stay safe and thank you